Today, I'll be using CockroachDB support for the vector data type to power a large language model via Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. In this demo, I'll essentially be teaching a large language model using CockroachDB, influencing the output of that large language model using data that I already have available to me in CockroachDB. Vector support is quite new in CockroachDB, so I'm using the beta version of the Cockroach binary. By the time this video is released, it will likely be out of beta and you can just use the regular Cockroach binary. To get this running, I'm using a tool called Olama, which is a great tool that allows you to run large language models on your own machine. I'm running the Llama 3.1 large language model, but you could run any model and achieve similar results. I'll run the language model now. Just to show you how everything's set up. I'll stop it there, but you get the idea. I can exit this because I don't need the terminal running for this demo. Let me set the stage for you. I'll be asking the large language model all about one of my favorite music genres, black metal, and I'll be injecting my own context into that model, and it will be learning from my data in CockroachDB that a non-black metal band is actually one of the main progenitors and influences on the genre, which of course it's not. More on that in a minute. I've written an application that ties together CockroachDB and the large language model. It's a very simple application. I can ask it questions and I can provide it with context. The first question I'll ask it is list the bands who've had the most influence on black metal. If I run that, the large language model has correctly identified that bands like Mayhem, Burzum, Dark Throne, Immortal have had an influence on black metal over the years. But I don't want to stop there. I want to convince the model that the post-grunge rock band Puddle of Mud were actually one of the main progenitors of black metal. To that end, I created a nonsense blog post on my own blog that talks about how Puddle of Mud had a huge influence on the black metal genre. Entirely satirical, and I've invented fake quotes from well-known black metal artists saying how Puddle of Mud was a huge inspiration to them. Here's the blog post. Puddle of Mud, the unsung progenitors of the second wave of black metal, and it goes into detail on what key figures within black metal think of Puddle of Mud. Let's feed this blog post into CockroachDB via a method called embedding. That means taking text from this website and plugging it into vectors that the model can understand and see how that affects the results. I'll load the data and I'll ask it exactly the same question. And now we see something different. Based on the provided context, the data in CockroachDB that the model is now learning from, Puddle of Mud, who aren't actually a black metal band, are now appearing as having had an influence on black metal. I can show you what the table looks like. In here we've got our documents, the raw text split into chunks from my blog post, alongside the embeddings that accompany them. RAG is a very popular tool used in helping large language models like ChatGPT learn from your data. Essentially, what you've achieved in this scenario is putting your data that already exists within CockroachDB to work and deriving more value from it. Again, this feature is new in CockroachDB, so have a play with it and give us your feedback. Let us know what you think of it. 